usually when you install a new operating system, you're gonna be missing drivers. So let's go ahead and check how many drivers I'm missing. I'm just gonna start menu. You can go to computer. And then go to system properties right here on the top. And then you'll see device manager. In the device manager, it'll show you anything that's missing. So I'm missing one, two, three, four, five drivers. Right. So it looks like I'm missing actually the drivers for the wireless and the wired. So the only way I can connect to the internet at this point would be to connect a USB um, Ethernet or a USB wireless card. In this case, instead of doing that, because I don't have neither of those, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to another computer, go to Dell's website, Dell support, and um, I'm gonna look up the drivers, these five drivers for this specific model. And then I'll install it. So I'll be right back with those drivers. All right, so instead of installing or downloading all the drivers, I just downloaded the one driver um, and I put it on a flash drive from another computer um, so I can show you how to install the rest of the drivers. So I just got the wireless driver so I can actually show you what I did to get the driver. So I'm just gonna do the one driver. I'm downloading right now. I'm installing the wireless driver, which I'll show you exactly where I got it from and how I got it. Right now it should be installing the wireless driver. We should be able to get wireless network soon. Let's try this one more time. This time I'm gonna try to run it as an administrator. Let's say continue. Continue. Okay. And then let's see if it pops up now. Okay. There we go. So we have to run it as an administrator for it to pop up. We're just gonna go to the menu next. Hit install. And that should be the network controller driver. You'll see that go away, and then you'll see it goes into the network section. installed I should begin wireless signal we can close this now hmm. oh. not done yet we don't want to view this read me this quick finish Go here, connect to the wireless, and voila, 
they have wireless now. So I'm just gonna connect to mine so right quick. Okay, we can close that. And now we're committed to the internet. Let's go here. Now to get the auto, to get all of the drivers, what I like to do is go to the manufacturer's website. So in this case, since this is a Dell, I like to go to Dell.com and get them directly from the manufacturer. You don't have to get them from the, directly from the manufacturer. There's other ways of software and stuff out there that people like to use, but I don't like to use that because I like to get it directly from where it came from. So. That's just my personal. Then you can go to super, uh, support. That's just my personal opinion, but. Okay. Go to support. I'm going to take down. Uh, so it looks like we might have issues because we're not on an ex Internet Explorer 11. Oh, oh, let's see. Yeah, that might be an issue. So what I'm, what I want to do? Let me install Google Chrome. What I like to do um, to get all the basic software that I need, I like to go to nanite.com. I will put that in the description. Um, this you can just pick whatever software that you need. I'm just gonna install everything at once. And it actually does all the the beginning questions like what we normally press next X X agree to terms. It does all that for you. Need anything else? Nope, that should be good. <laughs> now, while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and let the Windows updates run in the background. Oh, it's already running. Perfect. Uh, Google Chrome is no longer supported with Windows Vista. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel this. Go ahead, go back. I think Firefox is still. I think Firefox is still supported by Vista, so I'm gonna try that. That's it. I'm gonna close this one, run this one. I'm gonna close nine eight now. Minimize this on those updates. Oh, 
I don't know if Firefox should be on here. So while all that's going, I don't want to import anything. Let's try this again though. Uh, .com. Now we want to go to support. If you all support. So I'm gonna just go through browsing on a laptop. This one's an Inspiron 1545. So we're just gonna look for that model. Go. So once we get here, there's going to be a driver and downloads section. You're gonna click that, and then you'll have all the drivers that you need. Let's go back to that menu, computer. System properties and device manager. So we need the graphics driver, Ethernet driver, SM bus controller is usually the um, chipset. And then the video controller should be the same thing as this. So we'll test all this. Both of these should go. So the first thing here is the chipset. So let's go ahead and do that. Download it. And Click continue. Okay. Yes. Okay. to run that as an administrator and go to the folder click the little folder icon right click run as administrator like we had to last time click run continue there we go Next, next, yes, next, and then since we did the chipset, the SM bus should go away. Now, it usually asks you to restart, but since I have so many things running right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the restart. I have the updates. I can close this. I got my programs installing here. Browser device manager. So yeah, I won't restart. I'll just install all the all the drivers and then let I do the Windows updates and go from there.
Next. And now I'm gonna choose no, do not restart. I have so many things running. And then we're gonna go back and install the rest of the drivers. We're missing the ethernet and the video. So we're gonna drop this down. Go back to network. I'm gonna look for the ethernet driver. And this is that ethernet controller. I'm gonna download that one. Save file. This should be done by now. Oh no, still installing centers. See how the windows update? Oh, let's do this first. Let's just go to the folder so that we can run it as an administrator. Continue. Continue. Okay. When I do when those updates are done, I'm gonna postpone it for four hours for right now. Okay. Yeah, they, so that's done. We'll handle that later. Gave me an error for the reason that let's try that again. There we go. I'm gonna click next, agree, next, install, and then the Ethernet driver should go away. last but not least I'm gonna go ahead and start downloading it now usually the video driver is the, is the biggest one so mm. let's see if it tells us what type of Now we have the Ethernet driver. Now we need the video driver. We might have to download both and see which one works. We're just gonna go ahead and go for this one first. Yeah, so we're just gonna run that as a minister also. We're gonna go ahead and restart this time. And that's gonna actually take a while to restart because it's gonna do the Windows updates also. So I'm gonna turn off the video and then come back to you once it's done. Alright, so the computer just finished restarting. Now I think all the drivers are installed, but we can go ahead and double check. 
the computer. I'm gonna do a right click, manage, and click continue. And we'll update the Microsoft Security Essentials. Like it's already updating right here. Device Manager. Yep, and now we have all the drivers. No yellow exclamation marks. That's how you know that all the drivers are installed. All right, and the last thing to do is just the updates. Yeah, right now it's just doing, it's updating uh, Microsoft Security Essential, which is a free, pretty good antivirus for free. So, and it comes, it comes with Windows. Mm -hmm. That's just about it.